nagkaroon tayo ng pagbubukas ng ating uh, sardine close season. So, we're now opening the the area for fishing. Uh, maganda naman sapagkat uh, dumating yung uh, mga operators ng pangisdaan, may dumating din ang mga ibang processors, at uh, kasama natin yung ating mga BG practitioners para ma-witness nila yung event. Kasama rin natin siyempre yung mga official ng pamahalaan at ilang mga congressman dito sa uh, Sambuanga at sa Sulu uh, para makita yung uh, event na ito. Itong close season natin, it's uh, really uh, a good activity of BIFAR. Uh, ever since next start to, uh, we can see an increase in production on fish, especially in municipal waters. Nakatulong ito sa malilit na mangingisda and at the same time, ito ating commercial fishers ay malaki ding tulong sa kanila. Last year, uh, yung uh, ibig sabihin na uh, 2012, ay noon pa man ay uh, uh, ang, ang, ang uh, increment ng upan natin ng uh, tamban ay ito po ay hindi galing sa amin ang data galing po ito sa Philippine uh, Fisheries uh, Development Authority at ayon sa kanilang report ay tayo ay nag increase ng uh, uh, more than 30% as compared to the previous year So, hoping that uh, we, we will increase more uh, by this coming 2013 po. Ay, napakala, napakalaki because hindi po umabot ng dalawang buwan, alam mo, maluso area. Yun ang isa pinakamaraming sarling. Tumatalon na sa bangka ng ano eh. Sa bangka ng mga fisherman, ganun nakakadami. So, talagang malaki ang effect ko niya. Kaya sila na mismo nagpapahuli, hindi na kailangan ulihin mo. Yes, uh, last year about there was about 25% increase of fish cuts if you compare from 2011 to 2012 and I expect uh, the increase in 2013 this year will be better. Based on our close fishing exercise, I observed that uh, last, last March we already start uh, canning operation. The fishing company started fishing last March 2, and I observed the fish size is uh, already regular tamban. Yes, it, 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 the, the result of the close fishing is good. Well, ang, ang nakita natin uh, is uh, generally speaking, ano, kasi masaya yung mga tao. Because yung isa limbawa natin nakita na fishing, uh, fishing company, no? yung isang catcher niya nakahuli ng almost um, one tau more than 1000 uh, tubs no and that's a lot of fish uh, it's about 3.5 metric tons no isang gabi no at sabi nila yung the 1000 tubs na yon eh mas malaki pa yung nahuli nila no isang gabi 2000 tubs daw sila ibig sabihin nito ay kung tuloy-tuloy yung ganung trend ng production over the next uh, uh, nine months No, of open sea fishing, uh, we are estimating mga 200,000 metric tons of fish to be generated in this area alone. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, so dito lang sila eh. Dito sila nag, ano, nag-operate. So, natiming nga nila ang school of fish dito. So, alam ng maestro ko yun eh, kung saan ang napunduhan ng mga <laughs> ganyang Spacey. Mga 1,003. Dito lang sa lugar na ito. So, isang kampanya lang siguro yan sila. Kasi ang space, ang laki nila pari-pariho eh. So, by the time of pag-anak nila yan, billions of ano yan. So, isang pangkat lang yan. Well, uh, inshallah, uh, kung ganito na tuloy-tuloy ang cooperation ng ating commercial fishers, Siyempre talagang impact nito ang napakalaki sa sardine industry dahil uh, dadami ang sardines na natin. No need for them to fish in for our air areas just to get some raw materials for their sardines. And at the same time, baka bababa din ang presyo ng ating canned goods, uh, ating sardines, the good for the consumers. As well as baka pwede na rin ito ating local fisher fisher fox na makahuli rin ng sardines at makabenta kasi sa kanilang 
lugar and maybe they can put up a small local processing of sardine fish like local sardine in oil na pwede nilang i-put up na yun ang pinaplano namin ilagay dito sa Basilan and Sulu for the women fisher folk na nandyan sa Tabindagat. So, malinaw na malinaw para sa atin ang magandang epekto ng unang glow season. So, overall, siyempre, di ba sa pagtaas ng sinasabi nating ani ng sardinas, uh, ito yung nagbigay ng uh, parang preba o proof no? that uh, managing your fisheries resources will result into better benefit for all of us. And I think that's very important for the fishermen. Uh, kung titingnan mo, alam galing ako two weeks ago sa, or three weeks ago sa Dipolog. At uh, ang epekto nun, siyempre tuloy-tuloy din yung kanilang battle sardines production. Maganda yung employment nun sapagkat yung battle sardines ay mataas yung requirement ng personnel. At dahil tuloy-tuloy yung production nila, ang ibig sabihin nun, mas maraming battle sardines na ginagawa, mas maraming trabaho, mas maraming income, mas maraming uh, benepisyo para sa mga mamaya. Well, of course, as, as you know, uh, the population had increased already. So what will happen is that the processor has to produce more product. So definitely, we have to look for a way to manage our resources. So if we keep on catching every month, every month, so there's no way for the fish to reproduce. So this is very important. That's the reason why we have to observe the close fishing to allow the fish to spawn in December so that we will have enough fish from March to November. Ang uh, next plan natin ay ang plano ng national director natin po ay mag, magdadagdag ng mga processing plan uh, dito na po sa bandang Basilan, uh, even uh, Sulu. Uh, that, that, that would be our uh, future plan para yung uh, galing dito mismo, uh, yung supply galing sa Basilan ng and Sulu, dito na ipaprocess nila at ibibinta doon sa maari sa mga Muslim mga countries uh, upang sa ganun yung uh, mapatno, uh, mapatunayan na natin yung halal na production which is na uh, the prepared uh, product uh, by the Muslim country. Yes, uh, ang isa nating uh, tinitingnan din kasi importante rin sa atin na hindi lang tumas yung production. Importante rin yung people of Sulu and Tawi-Tawi and Basilan should have uh, real benefit coming from the close season. Ano? So, ang gagawin ng Bureau, bibigyan namin sila ng capability rin ng manghuli ng sardinas. And not only that, by providing them with small uh, light boats, yung mga basnig, no? para makakapanghuli din sila. At pagkatapos noon, dahil alam din naman natin na karamihan sa mga kapatid natin sa Basilan, Sulu at Tawi-Tawi ay mga Muslim, sa tingin natin, uh, pwede tayong mag-develop ng isang halal product from sardines. In fact, meron na tayong, meron na tayong ngayong uh, initial feasibility study to consider the possibility of funding a small processing plant na ilalagay natin either in Basilan or Sulu. At uh, siguro, i-develop natin siya in such a way na ma-penetrate niya, halimbawa, yung mga uh, Muslim countries. Palagay ko, yun ang niche market natin for this particular product. If we are to develop halal sardines uh, manufactured in a Muslim area by the Muslims themselves. Of course, this remains a vision to be accomplished. No? Nandun pa tayo sa, we cannot say na na-accomplish pa natin. But I think uh, we were able to uh, put together the necessary framework. We are able to take the initial steps uh, nearing that vision. Uh, and uh, hindi na magiging mahirap ito kasi naumpisahan natin at successful yung umpisa natin uh, palagay ko dadami na tayong magsusulong nito so I guess while we're not yet there we're very near yung dream natin ng sufficiency again, when it comes to sufficiency we are more than sufficient uh, just let me just clarify that fishery requirement of Filipinos is about uh, 3 million metric tons our, our total production is close to uh, 5 million metric tons. So we really have a surplus. Uh, but again, um, that, that includes also yung ating seaweeds, no? Kasama yung seaweeds doon sa computation natin. If you look at pin fish alone, uh, more than sufficient pa rin yung production natin. But we are looking for growth. Growth. Uh, growth so that um, our fisheries resources can remain uh, a major contributor of our export. 
again without endangering the resource base so importante yung balance na yon because uh, in, important while importante export while importanteng makapaglabas tayo importante rin na maintain natin yung resource integrity so that at the end of the day you do not unnecessarily endanger sustainability of future generations